Hi there. Um, thanks to all of you uh, early adopters of the uh, the new X-Read Chroma Bender. Um, we've actually sold out of our first batch and uh, are now ordering more. Um, but anyway, um, when we um, when I shipped the Chroma Bender to you, it had um, in, inside the case it had a um, an information sheet. Um, and um, I thought I'd just in this video just help you out uh, with um, actually playing some of the scales and um, talking a little bit about the information in the information sheet so it'll just help you get started so you've got some sounds and um, stuff to to relate to rather than just uh, you know pictures and words on a piece of paper okay so um, you'll you'll know that basically this is a is an all bending chromatic harmonica it's in solo tuning. Um, now the thing with bends and related to solo tuning is that you can get, you can bend both the, the, the blow and the draw note on the odd numbered holes. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. You can bend the draw and the blow there. So here's say number 1, number 3, number 5. Okay, so all on those odd numbered holes. Um, you can bend the blow and the draw. On the even numbered holes, you can't. You can only bend one of the notes. Um, for, so, so on hole two um, and hole number six and hole number ten, um, this is the um, the E and the F notes. You can't bend the F, but you can bend the E. So the F draw, you can bend it a little bit, but it's not going to bend all the way down to the to the semitone below. Um, but you can bend the E down to the E flat. Uh, that's number two, number six, and number ten. So you can bend the blow in um, two, six, and ten. Now on the other odd numbered holes, that's four, um, eight, and twelve, it's the opposite way around. You can bend the draw note, but not the blow note. So um, this, if you know your solo tuning, you'll know that on hole four and five, um, you've got the same note. Okay, so um, on hole number five, you've got C blow um, going up to a D draw, and that's the one where you can bend the um, the blow uh, C and the, and the draw D. Okay, but on the on the hole four, you've also got a C blow note above a above, above a B draw note. So it goes down there. So that C blow. You don't try and bl don't try and bend that. You'll just get a kind of a slightly nasty sound. If you want to bend the C, bend the five. On the on the number four C, don't try and bend that blow note, but you can bend the B draw. And so same on hole number um, eight. And on number twelve. Okay, so there's your um, basic. Um, uh, playability of the of the harp. On the odd numbered holes you can bend both draw and blow. On the even numbered holes it's only one of the blows um, or one of the draws. Okay? Okay, let's play that full chromatic scale now. So we're going to start in hole one. Now you can bend hole one down to get a B note so you actually you can extend your chromatic scale down by an extra hole um, which you can't do on a normal chromatic. Um, but So you can actually if you want to start on the B but we'll start on the C. Uh, which is hole one blow, and then we're going to go just blow, bend, draw, blow, and then bend your draw note, and then let it up. Okay, so that's C, C sharp, D. Now, for for you um, chromatic players, they're not used to bending notes um, in the same way that diatonic players do. Um, the principle of bending is that when you start down the bottom, you've got to start with a, a more open kind of throat. Um, then when you get up the top. So for instance, if I wanted to bend those same notes in hole number nine, my mouth is a lot smaller um, in terms of the um, the embouchure. Kind of that, is, and if I use that same bending uh, on hole number nine, on hole number one, nothing will happen. I've got to adjust my embouchure. So in hole number one, you've got to really open up your throat. And if I use that embouchure on hole number nine, that's not going to work. 
you know, so you've got to basically, as you go up the harp, you've got to um, narrow down your, your embouchure to make it, um, make the bends work. That'll just come naturally over time, but for you chromatic players um, who are used to just pushing a button, this is sort of new territory. For the diatonic players, it's kind of like, um, you know, uh, old hat and very, um, you know, very simple. And um, you'll, if you haven't done it before, you'll, you'll adapt to it, but it's um, something to bear in mind if you're not used to it. Okay, so hold one. <laughs> C, C sharp, D, and then if you want to get the E flat, you have to bend, go straight into the bend on your uh, hole number two blow, which is going to be an E flat. And then you draw the F. Okay, so then you, you're sort of, sort of halfway up the scale. Then the next note is an F sharp, which is your bend on the three blow. So I'm going straight to the bend there, and then letting it out. If you're playing along with music, um, you'll you'll adjust your pitch. I mean, you can bend these notes below the intended semitone, but that's going to be um, actually flat when you're playing the music. So you've just got to use your ear to to bend the the note to the correct pitch. Um, sometimes you want want to start flat and climb up, but anyway. Um, so here we go. So that we got up to G now, and then you can bend your um, three draw and let it up, and you get your A flat and A. Okay, and then finally you've got your bend um, draw on hole number four, which is your B flat, and then you let that up to the B, and then end up on this C, which is could be hole four or hole five, depending on what you prefer. So let's start from G going up to C. I prefer to go up to the to the whole five C because you can you can put more vibrato on it and bend it down if you want. Okay, so let's try that whole chromatic scale starting on hole number one. And now let's try coming down. So it's starting on hole number five. This is all um, written down in the in the sheet, um, you, and you can follow it. So the same thing. The good thing about the solo tuning is that the pattern repeats in every octave. So now we can do exactly the same um, movement and in the middle octave, and this will probably be slightly easier. In fact, if you want to get started on the chromatic scale, probably best to start in the middle octave first, and then translate it to the higher and, and, and lower octaves. So we start on hole five, on the blow. Okay, so there's your chromatic scale and coming down. Okay, let's try the chromatic scale on the top octave and we're, we're going to start on hole number nine and do exactly the same pattern but end on hole number 12. Um, now the bending in the top octave is a little bit more challenging. Um, even for blues harp players, some of you will not be used to bending draw notes up high. Um, so it um, might take a little bit of practice, but the notes are there. So start on hole number nine. So you have to use a little bit more pressure sometimes to get these notes. Um, so that's your chromatic scales.